Uh, thank you so much for having me here, guys. Uh, it's wonderful to, to be back at Social Media for Nonprofits. So, what is the nuclear football? The nuclear football is a strategy that almost all of the really big content sites on the internet use. It is, I think, the only way to do search engine optimization nowadays. Does everybody here know what search engine optimization is? Uh, it's basically trying to pop up at the top of the search results. You want your website to be as high as possible when someone types in a phrase that has to do with your, your organization. Um, SEO in its, it, the form that it, that it has been since about 2004 currently is dead and gone. There is no SEO. All those SEO companies out there uh, really have been struggling in the last uh, year since Google made some major changes. And in fact, Google uh, did an algorithm update yesterday that is uh, part of these changes. Um, that basically, it, what it basically does is uh, it pushes to the top content that's newer and better. And that's the heart of this nuclear football strategy. Now, I call it that because it's a fancy name. It has to do with the government and a briefcase that the president has to carry around. It's some really cool thing. Um, but really, it's the ultimate SEO strategy. It has to do with engaging content, links, press, and exposure. So this is exactly how it works. The first thing you have to do is create fabulous content. That could be articles. That could be charts. It could be graphs, cartoons, anything at all. I know that we're all doing serious work here, but there's always a place to create content that is fun and engaging for everybody, that the public can enjoy. Now, once you've created good content, and I'm going to get into that in a minute, it's really, really important to tell people about it. I believe some people here have already said that, but you can't really be shy when you're trying to get um, your, your site to show up at the top of the search results or to get a lot of traffic. You should systematically be telling bloggers and webmasters and reporters, anyone that has to do with your industry, just look them up, find people that have already covered your niche, your industry, and then write to them. Keep an Excel spreadsheet. So now, once you've told people about this fabulous content that you have, Google is going to start absorbing it. Because when people, when reporters or bloggers link to your content, then Google just slurps that up. They absolutely love it. They love frequent content, and they love really good content, and they can really tell the difference. If you write just a typical thing and just kind of produce an article that's only average, it is not going to do very much for you. It's kind of a waste of time. You may as well go that extra mile and do a really good job with an article that you're writing or a piece of content that you're producing. When, when Google sees that your content, that your article or whatever it is, is out there, and a lot of people are talking about it on both social media um, and via linking to it, then you start to pop up at the very top of the search results. Now, I think the best strategy is the long tail strategy. The long tail is basically this idea that the lesser searched terms in aggregate are more valuable than your top keywords. So like this conference, for instance, may not want to show up at the top. It probably does want to show up at the top for the keyword nonprofits. But it would be much more valuable if it showed up at the top for thousands of related keywords that have to do with the nonprofit industry. I think anything that has to do with puppies, babies, or love is fantastic. And I'm not alone. Almost every single person can relate to that. People like puppies, babies, and love. Another piece of content that we created is this one. And it has to do with the concept of fascinating images that, again, we've heard a little bit today from other speakers. If you can find cool enough images, people are just going to look at it. I mean, um, it, it, an image is just so valuable. The last thing is clever uh, commentary. If you can make social commentary that's interesting, and again, we're all doing such serious things in this room. And yet, you can totally use a cartoon or something fun to lighten up the mood a little bit. So now, the part of the nuclear football that has to do with links, press, and social sharing is done in the following way. First, like I said, systematically outreach. Literally have a list of 50 people that cover your niche, your topic, for your nonprofit. Um, category experts and tastemakers, that's really, really important. If you can locate the people that are tastemakers, uh, trendsetters, whatever you want to call it, you're in good shape. There's a site that I use. Uh, it's called topsy.com to find experts. And they have an expert search. So um, systematic outreach, this is just a quick example. This is an email that I got uh, two day, well, a couple of days ago from a friend of mine. And she reached out in such a passionate way. She cared so much 
about uh, asking me and probably a lot of other people, because I was BCC'd, to share her article that I immediately did it. Now, I get so many emails like this, and only some of them do I choose to actually share. But the way she wrote it was just so personal, and uh, it made a difference for me. So again, she didn't say, please see below, publish article as soon as you can, something like that. Or, you know, this is a press release, I think it's absolutely fabulous. She didn't use corporate speak. She appealed to me in a personal way. So that's the idea um, of the nuclear football. Uh, this is the payoff, is that the site um, in 2009 received almost 70 million unique visitors. Um, I hope in my lifetime I start another website that has this Google Analytics chart for me to look at, um, because it's really tough to get that many people to come. This is a, over, over a year. We got 70 million uh, unique visitors. Thank <laughs> you.